This video is going to take you through how to set up and view the fertility chart. To access it, you can either again use your shortcut if you've set one up on your desktop, or you can go through analysis sows and down to fertility chart. And you can see at the moment we've got by default the last 26 weeks as a period that we want to run for. You can obviously choose it to whatever one you want. So you can look at uh, the last six months, 12 months, last quarter, whichever one you want, but we'll, we'll go with the last 26 weeks. So we click on calculate. And what it brings up are the week numbers down the side here. So 29, 30, 31. The corresponding dates for those weeks. So you can see week 29 was 21st to the 7th to 27th of the 7th. And then we've got the number of sows that were served in that week, the number of gilts that were served, and obviously the total. And the number of reserves, which is animals that have been previously served, um, that are being served as a reserve. What you're able to do with the new fertility chart is on any of these columns, you can double click to see the animals behind them. So with, if you wanted to know those 16, we just double click on it like that. And you can then see the dates of their service and who they were. And you can double click on these to go straight to a sow card. If you want to look through that, you can. Close that down. And then what we've got along the top here are the weeks of gestation, week one, two, three, four, five, as you see. And then um, in the new wind pig, you've got the option for four different reasons for dropout, um, either not in pig, reserved, abortion, or culled. And then obviously the figures start to fill themselves out. And again, we can double click on numbers. So if we want to see who those seven were, you just double click and the animals come up. And what we're able to do is to scroll along and you can see that it's actually freezing these columns here. So these main columns are frozen and as we're scrolling across you can see that's staying in place. So we're scrolling along, seeing all the weeks of gestation all the way through. You can then start to see up until week 17, week 18. It's starting then to predict when these animals are going to fire in what on what day based on their um, previous history. If we scroll along we can then see from those original 16 we served in that particular week, week 29, 14 are farrowed, and that's 87.5%. You can see what they've had um, total polita, live polita, and also the 13 that so far have weaned, 11.54 is their average. So to set up the report, if yours, when you run yours, doesn't look quite like this, or you want to have a look at it and make some changes, all you do is go into the layout setup click on edit global or straight into it if you haven't got that option set up and again here are all the options that you can tick on or tick off um, for particular weeks um, or the key figures that you want to see where we've uh, locked or frozen that column um, so as we scroll along it doesn't um, hide them you can see we've done that on on the reserves column so if I just move it out of the way you can see we want to freeze our columns as we scroll to there so all I do is click on reserve which is that one and I put a freeze, click on freeze, and you can see the padlock is there. I've now taken it away, and I put the put it back. So basically, as we scroll to the right, it's going to freeze the columns there so it doesn't um, hide them away as we scroll along. So you can obviously take off any figures you want. If you don't want a particular week, obviously you can take them out, or you don't want a particular figure, you can take that out. Same idea as before with the selecting what you want. Just tick on or tick off what you want. Click on OK and then you're back to your fertility chart and then when you come to print it, it will actually print in a one page document we'll just have a look at that, so you can either press print it or go straight to the printer if you want to have a look at it as a print preview, you just come into there, click on fertility chart wait a few seconds for it to appear and then what you'll get on here is all of that information summarised nicely onto an A4 sheet with the dropout reasons summarised into one particular square box ready for viewing and in a nice easy way of, of one page. Just wait for that to come up, here we go. Um, so what you've got is the dropouts are now showing in four blocks. So blue top left is not in pig, red top right, reserved, aborted is a green bottom left and then culled in brown bottom right and you can see that fills it out. It comes onto a nice A4 sheet ready to be printed and also you can print from here if you wanted to. You can choose save, which will save it as a PDF file, or you can send it to someone as an email if you want to do that as well. And then once you're printed, you're obviously back to your sheet, and that's the fertility chart.